Hey guys, it's Natasha right here. I'm so happy to be joining you today. I want to have a really quick discussion about um, if it was intentional for me to be supposedly an influencer. <laughs> um, I, I struggle with the term. I must tell you, I don't like it. And this has been ages of me not liking it. But stick and stay, we're going to talk about it. All right, peeps. So we are in an age where we talk a lot about content creators. We talk about influencers. We talk about the people that are out there in society doing things. They help to promote brands. They help to sell products. Um, we take their advice. We listen to what they say. We watch their story and we are so involved with their everyday life. And that is pretty much summed up into the title influencer. No, um, when Jamar and I, we started Instagram, I think that's really where things started. We were always on Facebook, but then um, we jumped on Instagram and learned how to grow our pages. Not for once did we ever think that we were going to get many followers, people were going to be listening to us, people were going to be um, inviting us all over the place. Like, like we never thought that that would have happened to us period we were just doing our own thing and i remember like um started having experiences where i would go on the road and people say oh i know you from you know whatever and they say oh you have a daughter you have a husband and whatever and it just continued it continued to grow 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 people would you know reach out to me based on the momentum mondays they, be, they reach out based on morning charges they pretty much kept in touch with everything that we posted and um, that was really because of Jamar's ingenious um, ideas I must tell you because I'm an introvert naturally people don't believe me but I am naturally I'm an introvert so I'm not really interested to be honest I love people yeah man we'll have a conversation I'll see you it, you know I, I have no issues and um, love on people but my natural state or, or my natural preference is to be home or to be in a quiet space um, <laughs> enjoying myself and so it took years of me just understanding that what god has called me to do in the business and and um, business um, realm and also you know where women are concerned no um I just want to backtrack a little bit when things started to happen for us we we're on tv we're getting article getting articles or traveling we're speaking all these different things started happening i think we didn't we we never saw ourselves as no influence or like never you know um and then you know as most persons would um monetize what they were doing that never crossed our mind either because <laughs> because we love business we love what we do and also the christian side of us we believe that we're living on purpose so we don't have to get paid to do what we do <laughs> we do it from a place of it is our assignment um and the more people would use the term with me the more insecure I would feel or the more worried I would get that, you know, there are just too many eyes on me. And things started to happen to me, you know. In fact, I, I, I realized that sometimes when I was old, I was a little bit conscious. Um, if I was at the supermarket and, you know, I felt as though my shopping cart wasn't filled to a certain capacity, I was, you know, I was thinking, why did I come here? <laughs> I would fret if I'm, you know, at the doctor's office and the doctor is looking at me like, why do you look so familiar? Like, it, things just started to get scary. And it worried me because guess what? My greatest fear was, I was like, God, like what if I'm having an off day and something happens and I don't represent you well? And um, I still have that fear. I think it's a healthy fear, but it can actually 
it can mushroom into something that is unhealthy. Because here's why. We have a responsibility um, to raise the banner of Christ. Hi, but remember that we're human beings. Things happen, circumstances happen, situations happen. And I found that the more the influence increased, the more my anxiety would about what people thought about me. And so over the past few months, I'm gonna be honest with you, probably over like a year or so, I find that God has just been dealing with me about my perception of how people perceive me. And just, you know, bringing, to, bringing me through a process of doing what I need to do and just leaving the rest to him. And it's tough, guys. It's tough to know that so many eyes are on you. Um, something may not go well and you're judged. And I do hear, I do get a lot of the comments. Some people will tell it to your face, you know, they call it hypocrite, they tell you, you know, I'm no character, all these different things. And I've learned to not explain myself all the time because sometimes it doesn't matter how you explain people's people's thought of you will not change it will not change so you have to allow time to do its thing and if they never come around that is something that you have to be able to deal with too but i just i just said that to say that when things started to mushroom and expand it also caused issue in other areas. So, for example, um, someone who has serious rejection issues, it, you know, once they're out there in the media, they have they have serious problem problems because now you're worried about what people think about you. When people start acting strange, you get worried. It, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. But I ran away from that influencer title so so much. I hated it in fact because I, in my mind, influencers, they promote beauty products, they promote hair and all these different things. And I was like, ah, chow. I said, that's not me. That's not me. I just give, you know, good, I just pass on good vibes and I share, you know, I share and motivate people. But then I realized what is the meaning of influence is the same thing. It's the same thing. So what I am running from um that's exactly who i am you know people do look up to me and people do expect better of me you know you know the word of god tells us eh? um, <laughs> to whom much is given much is required it is no lie it is a serious thing so yes you mess up yes people cuss you off and they tell you uh, but at the same time it's also an opportunity for you to do better um, and so I stopped running from that. I don't run from it anymore. I embrace it. And when people hear how they feel, I have to appreciate that as well. And also know that I am a work in progress. So everything is not going to be perfect. But at the same time, I have to be able to take the criticisms and look to see if there's any truth to it. If there is, then I need to go work on that. If it's not, then I just throw it all away. But nothing is wrong with being in a position of influence and um, authority and power because if it is that you have people of darkness in all these different areas, in these different areas of you know influence and position and power, why shouldn't God's people be in those places as well? In fact, we're expected to be agents of change, so nothing is wrong with it. So if you are there and you're in the media and you're representing God um, through his grace, because it's not our doing, we are, we are as useless as filthy rags. That's how bad sin has caused a rift between us and him. But thankfully, through Christ, we have been redeemed. So it's really His grace and His Holy Spirit that gets us going and um, allows us to find grace and mercy. So it's through His grace that we're able to do what we're sent out to do. So if you are in the media and you are being considered as an influencer, it's not something for you to run from. Don't run from it. <laughs> Don't run from it. God knows why he has placed you there because he can use you as a vessel. 
He can use you to bring a good word. He can use you to minister to people. So don't hide away, don't shy away from those things. They, are, they, they need more of us out there because people are feeling so down, so um, broken that we need more agents to spread light. All right, so much love and blessings to you guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, now is a great time to subscribe. <laughs> um, let me know if you are interested in me doing hair tutorials on here. I may jump into that. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm also open to sponsorship, brand sponsorship. So guys, there's so much more in store. Stick and stay. Bye.